really, it's that, that, that digital transformation you've spoken about has been accelerated in so many different ways. You think about companies that were on-prem who hesitated to move to the cloud because you know they didn't want to move their communications to the cloud albeit they had all of their customer data sitting in salesforce um right. you know, and and, to, and and you know they didn't want to put their contact center in the cloud and then all of a sudden what, like i said before you know i think everyone had had an idea of what business continuity was but it usually ended with what happens if what happens if a backhoe rips up my fiber line outside my curb and i'm, and I'm offline for you know 48 hours it never took into account a global pandemic, you know, I, I, we, we, were, we were chatting, you know, in preparation for this call, I spent almost a decade of my career in the video conferencing space. And we've been talking about telemedicine when I first started in the video space. And it was always like, it's this hockey stick, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah. And it was a decade later that no one knew we needed a global pandemic for all of a sudden, you know, telehealth to just skyrocket in ways that you never would have thought. And it wasn't that it didn't work. It wasn't that it wasn't that the experience wasn't good. It was just, it was just convenience. You know, the, the people felt comfortable going to see their doctor and they didn't feel like they were going to get that same personal touch that they would had they been to a doctor. And now it's like, wow, this actually works. They can actually diagnose me well over video and I don't, I'm not exposing myself to this horrific public health crisis.